In this video, I'll show you how to link OneDrive to File Explorer. So the first thing you have to do is download OneDrive. So you go to Google, where you type in download OneDrive, and you're going to be redirected to this website over here, where it says download, and you just simply press that. Now I've just downloaded this, so I've got it under my downloads. And what you then have to do is click on OneDrive setup, and then this one is going to open up. Things are getting ready. You just wait a little bit. After this, you simply click here where it now says OneDrive and it's going to ask you to set up OneDrive. Now, if you have a, if you already have a Microsoft OneDrive account, you can input your info here, but if you don't, you can create an account, which I'm going to do right now. So you just have to wait a moment. Then you type in your email address. So in my case, it's the instant how to at gmail.com. And then you press on next. You can create a password, click on next. Then you have to put in your first name and last name, click on next. And then you have to put your uh, region or uh, your country of residence. You type in your birth date, press on next, and then you have to verify your email. So you go to your email where you get the verification code, and once you've done that, you're set to go to the next step. Okay, so once you've done that, you, can, you have to solve a puzzle so they know you're not a robot. You just press next. You solve the puzzle. You have to match this angle, so you just uh, match the picture on the right to the picture on the left, so the direct angle, then you press submit. And verification is now complete. Now you can now use this account everywhere on your device, so you just press next over here, then you have to wait for a little bit more. It says just a moment. And then once that's done, you're all set. You just press next, you can choose whether they w you want to show, uh, send optional data or not. I'm just going to leave it at don't send optional data. And then your OneDrive folder is here. It shows you it's under users instant how to OneDrive. So we can see it over here. You press next. And then everything starts scanning. Now you can either start your backup or press I'll do it later. And right now I'm going to put I'll do it later. And then you can get to know your OneDrive. You can read all this through in case you've never done it before. You can also get the mobile app if you want to. I'm not going to do this right now, so I'll just press later. And then you can press open my OneDrive folder. And just like that, you're done. You've in successfully linked your computer and your file explorer with OneDrive. And you can access all your files by simply clicking over here. And you'll see all of them and their status, whether they've been backed up or not yet. And that's it.